Hi everyone. I wanted to do a quick programming video based on a user request. So Christopher C had emailed me to ask how can he enter a specific extended ASCII character into a file when he's running FreeDOS on a virtual machine. And this is a rather specific request here because normally if you're running uh, FreeDOS or any DOS on actual hardware, what you would do to enter a specific uh, extended ASCII character is you'd hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then on the number pad on the right-hand side of the keyboard, you'd enter in the, uh, the, the code, the number for that extended ASCII character. Just to kind of show you what I mean here, uh, if I bring up the FreeDOS edit program under utilities, so I'm gonna do Alt U, I can see an ASCII table. And so in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that's where my cursor is right now at zero, zero. That is the typical null position. And if I move the cursor down, you can see I get the filled in uh, right pointing triangle, keep moving it down, I get space and zero and some other characters, then all the way down here, for example, to the Greek letter alpha. Uh, this would be alt 224. So if I wanted to enter this into a program, when I'm running on actual hardware, I just hold down the alt key and press 224 on my uh, keypad and that would enter the alpha character. Uh, and then down here on the next row, you can see 248 would be the degree symbol. So again, hold down the Alt key and then press 248. So why was this person asking me about this? Well, when you're running FreeDOS on a virtual machine, that Alt character trick actually might be captured or intercepted by the host operating system you're running on. So you could be running on Windows or it actually could be intercepted by the uh, virtual machine environment itself. And so uh, this person was unable to enter these extended ASCII characters into a file when running in a virtual machine. So they're asking for some other way to do that. And so I ended up writing a very simple program to create extended ASCII characters that you could enter in by code. So let me show you how I would do that. Let me first enter or exit uh, this uh, uh, editor and let's just uh, use a different editor for this program called Fed. Fed is a nice programming editor because it uh, colorizes my source code so I can see what a number one is versus lowercase l. Uh, the new program we're going to write is called care.c. All right, so the first thing I'll need to do is start my program. So uh, if I'm with printing output, I need to have the standard IO library. So I'm going to do include standard IO.h. I'm going to need to turn strings into integers. So I'm going to do it with the a to i function, and that's defined under include standard lib.h. All right, so now let's do my uh, program. Now the program is going to have this kind of a usage. Uh, it's going to be care and then the number that I want to enter. So uh, like this could be optional, so I'm going to put this under brackets, but it could be n or it could be more than one. So if I wanted to type in, uh, for example, uh, care248 would uh, display the degree symbol. And so that's the usage that I'm looking for. More than one, uh, one or more characters that you might enter on the command line. And I'm gonna enter in by uh, that decimal value. So here we go is our integer uh, program main. And then uh, to read the command line, we need to have int argc care argc. Okay, so I need to have a variable that's going to uh, uh, capture the, the the decimal value of a uh, an ASCII code. So we'll call that uh, an integer variable called uh, des uh, for decimal. And I need something to actually help me walk through the uh, the command line. So let's do uh, int i. I probably should pick a better one for that, but uh, there you go. I'm gonna use i. All right. So uh, if we don't have any options, so I'll just say if no options. Uh, then just print an error and quit, right? Probably just print usage. So we'll do that. So if the argument count is one, that just means in the arg vector, we only have, uh, the name of the program itself. Uh, then that means we don't have any command line options. So, uh, no options here. So we'll just print out, uh, well, let's just do it with a, a put s uh, function. So we'll just say, uh, uh, usage. Uh, should be care and then uh, one or more characters. And so that'll be our error message. And we'll just say uh, put s 
uh, we'll say uh, n is a decimal value uh, between uh, 0 and 255. That's the entire ASCII range. And we should return back the operating system with an error, so I'll do a return 1. Anything that's not 0 will be an error. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and print the uh, arguments as uh, ASCII characters. And so for that, I just need to go ahead and walk through my command line options. We're going to do 4i equals uh, 1, because I know that that exists. And then as long as i is less than argc, and then uh, we're going to increment i every time we do the loop. And then... Uh, Inside there, we need to go ahead and capture the uh, the argument as a decimal number. Now, if somebody enters in a series of letters, for example, uh, A2I will deal with that and return it as a, a value of zero. So I don't need to do much error checking here. So we'll just do uh, des equals uh, A2I of uh, that option on the command line. So we'll do argv i. And so now I've got a, a decimal number captured there. And I'm going to go ahead and say only print... Uh, 0 to 255. And so if the, uh, the decimal value is greater than or equal to 0, and the decimal value is less than or equal to 255, then I'm going to go ahead and do a put care on that decimal value. Because put care will just print out a single character at a time no new line, and you give it a character that you'd want, and you give it a character from the ASCII table, so I can just enter in the decimal value of that ASCII character. And that's all I'm doing there. And then otherwise, so we'll just do an else, uh, we're going to just uh, print out a, a question mark, uh, just to indicate that, um, you know, if you put in like minus one or something, that, that'll that'll get captured, or you know, by by uh, A to I, that'll return it as a minus one. Uh, but I want to indicate back to the user that something kind of went wrong there. So we'll just print out a single question mark. I need to print out something, and so we'll print out something there as a question mark. And that's really our program. So uh, we've now got a a for loop here that walks through each of our uh, command line arguments and uh, converts that to a decimal value and then prints it back to the user. And now that we're done with that, we can now return back the operating system as zero. I'm not actually putting in a, uh, a new line at the end of that because maybe the user wants to put in their own new line. Uh, but in this case, I'll just leave it go uh, with uh, printing out single characters. And so for that, we'll go ahead and save our program, save and quit. Now let's go ahead and compile our program. We're going to use the Watcom compiler and linker, uh, which generates a lot of uh, outputs. So uh, we'll make it a little bit quieter by using dash Q. It'll still print out errors and things, but, uh, and then uh, uh, we'll put it in a memory model of tiny because we don't need this to be a big program. And then uh, we'll do care.c. And so I'm not seeing any errors or warnings there. So that's good. And by using the memory model uh, of tiny, I should get a COM program at the end. So there's my COM program. And so if I just type care uh, with no options, I should get that error message. That's telling me what my usage should be. So we'll do care. And remember it was 248 was the, uh, uh, was the ASCII code for the degree symbol. And so you can see I'm getting the degree symbol. And if I type uh, care 248, 248, that'll give me two degree symbols because all I'm doing here is just typing out the specific values that are being uh, given to me on the command line. So two um, degree symbols look a little bit like an I. And then we'll do uh, care, uh, one more test here, care 248, and then we'll do minus one, and then uh, 300 and then uh, 248 again. So uh, minus one is obviously outside the value of zero to 255. So I should get a question mark there. And 300 is also outside of the range of zero to 255. So I should get another question mark. So I should get a degree symbol, question, question, degree symbol, which I do. And so that's one way that you would write a, a simple program to generate uh, single ASCII characters uh, based on the command line. So uh, what do you think about this program? Was it helpful to you? 
uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I wanted to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. So thank you very much for that. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to thank you especially here for that. So again, thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Before I go, visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.